Mighty Scrapper! How are you, my friend? I've had one busy two days. Man, still going. JJ, how are you, buddy? I gotta come and visit you guys. I've been between being sick and busy. I'm not on here too much, but I gotta start catching up. After tomorrow, I'll settle down a little bit for me. Then I can get back in there. We're finally going to board sort, clear some room for more. Yeah, I am going to board sort tomorrow morning because I've just about had enough. Of not having any room. MBA, what is up? How are you? Green Street Recycling, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I don't know how long I'm going to stream. I got everything out of my basement that I'm taking to Ohio. The only problem is my truck is in here. So. I have to wait for my truck to get back so I can go load it up. And then tomorrow morning, just put my fat ass in the truck and go. So, <clears throat> I was going to go to the place closer, but the way I bundled up my uh, motherboards, um, the other place, they category them a different way than what Ohio does. So, they were already bundled up. Damn. They are already bundled up, so I just said, oh, well, just put Ohio. MB Outdoors, how are you? Good to see you. MBA, you got any electrical tape? I ran out. I use it all on the bus for the wiring. Oh my goodness. I'm wearing myself out again. I gotta slow down. A... Today's the worst, the hectic day. Tomorrow's just travel time. And then Thursday, uh, Probably ain't going to do nothing on Thursday. Tinker around down here, but nothing heavy. Misha tape? I need some kind of tape. But I'll tell you right now, NBA. There'll be no pizza eating, no burping, none of that stuff on this stream. I don't play that game. Ian Matthews. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I got my Ohio trip stuff outside. I carried all this stuff outside from my basement by myself. It took me forever. But um, I just got a little odds and ends. Uh, one of my computer guys is changing offices. So yesterday afternoon for about two hours and about an hour and a half, two hours this morning, I was hauling electronics and stuff out of there. So he gave me a nice, decent haul. Uh, really? Um, I guess they've had some uh, fires, my scrapper, for the uh, the terminals shorting out. I don't know. It's a requirement, and if you don't do it, they um they dock you for it. So you know, for the couple of minutes it takes to do it, um, I think I get a a dollar fifty a pound for these, and they're about three four pounds a piece. So you know, they pay pretty good. And most of the stuff I got yesterday was pretty much free. I um, gave the guy a $50 bill, and he didn't want to take it, but I told him to take it anyway. I told him to get a decent haircut and a good meal on me. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning up some of this uh, loose hard drives that I got yesterday because I can throw the boards in with what's going tomorrow. So I got almost $700 in just these boards alone. Um, cell phone bed or laptop? All these laptops right here. Um, I did a pile the same size as this yesterday. Um, 
I took the batteries out. I take the memory, the memory out. These little dudes here. And if the hard drive's in them, I'll pull the hard drive out. But these here, if they, if the screens aren't broken in them, see like this one here is already stripped out. So the only thing I'll take off of this is the Wi-Fi card. And these little connectors right here are gold plated, so I'll cut them off. But this one here is pretty much already stripped out though. But if you pull this white Wi-Fi card out, it's really only one little screw in it. It's got the little gold fingers on the end. So I'll cut those fingers off. And then it has gold up on top here. So I'll throw this in a bucket and then you know I'll pull this little metal casing out and I'll throw the rest of it in my uh, acid bucket. But I got quite a few of them to do, but on the road, that's something I don't you know, if I don't have nothing to do one day and I'm bored, you're right. I uh, will do those. But then these little dudes here are gold plated. So I just throw it in my gold plated jar bag. Jimmy C, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. You need to come and help me, man. Help my brother out. Now, see, this one here has the battery in it. So if it's a lie ion battery, then it goes to Ohio. If it's a lithium ion, I just sell it to the scrap yard. But this is a lie ion. So I get $1.50 a pound for these. And if this was a lithium battery, I'd get uh, 22 cents a pound at the scrap yard. So that's why I take them and check them. Like I say, as long as that connector is taped, that's all you got to do. It takes two minutes. But then now if the the, uh, like, see, this one's kind of beat up. There ain't even a screen on this one. So this one here will go right into my uh, Ohio pile, which is outside already. So that one's that one's ready to go. Let's see. Uh, I know I'm gonna screw this up. Melissa, my eyes are bad. I hope I'm saying it right, Melissa. Good to see you. I'm just busy as usual. That's a toy set, so. I had this listed on eBay, and it didn't move anywhere. You can only get like 20 bucks for these, which is sad. You know, they're video cards and other computers. So, we will scrap them out because they got a nice heat sink in them. They got a nice fan in them. They got gold fingers, and they got a boatload of tantalums. So, I'm just leaving gold fingers on this side. So, I'll just part them out and send them on their way to who knows where. Destination unknown. That's the course head. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get some, just a few more of these motherboards and stuff, or uh, sliding boards out. Throw them in the pile for. I want to leave here by. I don't know. I'm not going to leave early. It's three and a half hours there, so if I leave at 9, 9.30, I can be there by 12.30. Right, Ian, right. Um, the My buddy that gave me all this uh, laptops and stuff, he says, um, you know, the price of that stuff new. He even gave me stuff brand new in the box. He just, he didn't want to deal with it. You know, he's just like, go in this room and just fill everything up. I don't want to go in there and look because then I just want to keep it. So, I don't want to be that. This is stainless steel. So, that's, I got a little stainless steel bucket over there. Um, but, you know, I feel bad doing that to the guy. But, you know, a lot of people uh, hoard stuff. So, I'm quite happy to help him out. Our Flyb Adventures. Nice to see you. How was your day today? I have a whole bunch of plastic. I see chips. Um, you know what I do is I sell them to my um. I don't sell them. If he wants to buy them, I'll sell them to him. I don't care either way. Or you know he can refine them for me. What the hell is that? Oh, I live like a half a block from the school, so the kids are getting out of school. Um, so I can either sell them to him, but I do I uh I split them up. I put them in uh, different grades. They are. That's aluminum. Um, I'll show you. Uh, 
I'll show you here, buddy. So these are just um, different IC chips. Yeah, I'll see. Anything that's two legs is pretty much in here. To where these are IC chips, but these are ceramic. So these are harder to process than these are. So that's why I keep them separated. And then these here are flat packs. They're four legged. They have four, you know, legs on all four sides of them. You know, they'll always be square. And I mean, they're, you know, that big to this big to bigger. I've seen bigger. But um, if I was going to sell these, I would have to separate all the big ones from the little ones. Or the thick from the thin, I'm sorry. Because see how thick that one is? And then there's some that are super thin. Which, you know, I won't find one. Oh, right there. So you kind of see the difference. So I'd have to separate these. But I just fill this up. And I send this to my refiner. And he just refines it for me. Because when I'm sitting here taking chips off the boards, it's easier for me to just have... You know, I'd have to have eight containers. I'd have to have... Thick chip, you know, thick flat, thin flat, ceramic IC, mix IC, EPROMs, um, surface mount BGAs, um, gold corner BGAs. So this way I just, I keep it all separated and it's just so much easier to do it this way without any hassles. They don't get mixed up. Uh, Knock everything down, but but like board sort, board sort will buy all those chips. They don't even care if they're mixed. Um, they pay like four fifty a pound for them, and they sell them to whoever. And they do exactly what the refiners do. You know, they get the gold out of them. Going for a shower. Well, I appreciate that. I need my uh, bi monthly shower too today. I don't want to go down to Ohio and smell like a, a rat. How are you, Gil Skills? Good to see you, buddy. I'm doing good. I've been busy yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then Thursday, I'm probably going to have to sit my old fat butt down and take a break because I'll be all wore out by then. I had uh, quite a bit going on the last, well, yesterday and today. And tomorrow, I'm just going to Ohio to board sort. You're your place, you're going to be going. Um, and then, like I said, Thursday, I'm probably going to chill out, take a breather. But I had a pretty big haul from one spot yesterday and today. So just trying to get some little nuisance that I can throw my board sort pile for tomorrow yet. Like these little motherboards or logic boards and the hard drives. But I only sell the uh, laptop hard drives to board sort. The other ones I take apart. The laptop ones ain't really worth it. Well, let me see anybody here. I have some white IC chips. Are they ceramic or just a different kind? Um, they might be even resistors. Um, if you can, look up the number on them and see. Sometimes they're resistors and they're not ICs. So they're kind of, you know, it's kind of tricky. There's, there's so many different types. But once you do it for a while, you'll really learn the difference, and it's just so much easier when you you want to sort them or send them to a refiner or whatever. Yeah, pop that little piece of gold off of there. Oh, let me find my knife. RPS. I miss somebody. RPAS. Good to see you. I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. So, yeah, Gil, I uh, posted two videos today of what I got yesterday and what I got today. And I got everything drug out of the shop. And uh, I'm going to load it up here uh, probably an hour or so. And then tomorrow morning, I just got to 
get in the truck and go. I don't know what I do with my gold stuff. This makes it easier. But like I told the NBA, there'll be no burping, no pizza eating, none of that stuff in here. No horn blowing. You know, that's that's the circus stream. I don't know what's going on with that girl. Now that I talked about it, she'll probably pop in here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to stab myself here. I see it coming. There we go. I didn't stab myself. But, yeah, this hard drive compared to this hard drive, I'll keep that and take it apart. These have glass discs in them, and they're really not worth the, the effort or the time to waste on them. So I just take the board off, and I sell it as a hard drive with no board. I think they're only like 20 cents a pound. So, And I have a few thousand of these big ones. So I have quite a few of the the hard drive ones too or the laptop ones all the days work oh my goodness so i gotta uh go through a million totes that i got for that guy and there's all kinds of loose stuff in there. I gotta sort out all the memory and more hard drives and laptop batteries and tons of wire. And I was gonna go buy a new office chair, and he had two of them there. He told me I could take them, so I took them. It just saved me a good chunk of money. And I was supposed to go up to northern Michigan on Friday with my buddy to help him put his boat docks in but i gotta add to that he said he had like six other people going up there so he had plenty of help i said thank god do you run these from a dongle to check the data no these are all pretty much um wiped out um it wouldn't even matter because I am registered with my state as a e-waste recycler, um, even though I'm small time. But anything that I get, I have to destroy. So nothing. If it goes, if it comes in here, it goes out. Um, you know, taken apart, destroy. It can't be reused. Um, the discs themselves, when I take them out of the hard drives, I uh, score both sides of them. Or I bend the hell out of them so that when I take them to the scrapyard, they um, can't be uh, taken or, you know, information can't be taken off of them. Uh, if I can get this in here, I'll show you. Oh. Things I do for my YouTube peoples. So... Yeah, so this is the disc that's in these bigger ones. This is it's a uh, aluminum. It's FE aluminum. They call it. It's like 48 cents a pound. But I mean, this one's scratched up. But when I take these apart, I just take a screwdriver and just go like that. Just put a squiggly line on it. So now it's it's rendered useless because it's scratched up. So you just do both sides real quick. Just put a mark on it, and then it's done. <laughs> But I can't, I can't resell anything to, you know, someone that wants to privately use, you know, like a hard drive or anything. I have to destroy everything. Because if somebody uh, takes that hard drive and there's info on it, and they use the info, and then the original owner says, well, I sold that computer to Mike's Electronics Removal Service. So then they come to me, and I said, well, I sold it to... Uh, Gil Skills and Gil Skills went and you know did a terrible thing. Shame on you, Gil. Um, what happens is it comes back to me with a ten thousand dollar fine and I lose license. so not worth it. Thanks, Gil. I had to use you for a guinea pig. <laughs> you the first name I saw when I looked up there. Shouldn't be blue, Gil.
Uh, let's see. Micro scrapping everything just to be safe today. I got some copper aluminum radiators apart. Got lots of. I just took in. Um, prices are terrible. I took in, you know, just a little bit of stuff because I wanted to get my trailer emptied, and I mean, it was just. I couldn't believe how low the prices were. Let me find that paper and I'll give you an idea. Give me one minute. Sorry about that. I put in the office. So, yeah, the stuff I took this morning was kind of crappy. I, was, I just need to sit on it. So, yeah, like shred steel right now is only four and a half cents a pound. So that's like what ninety dollars a ton. But I only had a little bit of it, but I had to get it out of there. Um, yellow brass is a dollar forty a pound here. Dirty brass is thirty cents a pound. Old cast aluminum is 25 cents a pound. Number one copper is 205 a pound. Number two is two dollars a pound. I had two aluminum uh, wheels, car rims. Those were 47 cents a pound, and 32 cents a pound for your copper aluminum radiators. I don't know recycle dude was on. WTF Mike, how are you, buddy? Great to see you. So yeah, so the prices kind of suck. So I mean, I only had a little bit of stuff, and it was three hundred and thirty-seven dollars. So most of that was free money from my neighbor with the gives me all the copper and aluminum and stuff. So couldn't go wrong. I didn't know recycle dude was on. I ain't seen him in so long. I thought he retired or I don't know. Really? Nine oh five. Yeah. I just got a uh, call a little while ago that my uh, student loan was approved. Well, look at that. 55 years old. I ain't gonna, what am I going to go to school for? How to be a YouTube star like Mickey XOXO? No. I don't want to be a YouTube star. The weather clear enough for you out there, uh, WTF? We're going to get a lot of rain. I'm going to Ohio tomorrow and it's probably going to rain. Which makes the trip seem like forever. Yeah. She has my phone number. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day. She hits me up on Messenger all day long. But since I've been uh, kind of sick and in the healing process, she's she checks up on me every day, though. Every day. But I haven't uh, really talked to her too much. Windy today, but no more snow. Maybe you'll get some more if you're lucky. We are supposed to get like three inches the other night, and thank God it stayed rainy. It had like a little wintry mix at, overnight, but then it got the 55 degrees, so the weather patterns are weird. They are weird. My stepson lives in Minnesota, so he's uh, about had it with the weather there, too. Cincinnati. I'll be close to you tomorrow, Mighty Scrapper. I'm going to Cleveland. Well, just outside of Cleveland. About 20 minutes. I'll stick my hand out the window and give you a smack. See, the nice thing with me going to um, Ohio tomorrow is I don't even have to drive. So, I got a buddy that helps me every now and then. He likes to just get out and, you know, single guy, so I let him drive if he wants to drive. I hate driving, to be honest with you. Can't stand it. Does it still rain turkeys on Thanksgiving? <laughs> but yeah, and uh, the video I posted just before I streamed, I uh, showed you guys all the totes I got to go through. So... I don't know if I'll get through them all today, but probably not because there's a lot of stuff. I got a pile of those uh, touchscreen computers. 
So I don't know how hard they're going to be to take apart, but we'll find out. We will find out. But what I don't get done to take tomorrow, and like I said, it's already all out in the driveway. Um, that's just my start for my next run. Uh, last year, I did three runs to board sort with the electronics. And that one don't want to come off, so we're going to... We're going to cheat. We're going to pry it off. Which is probably easier to do anyway. There you go. No gold on that one. So, yeah, I had my little break when I was sick. And then I kind of took the weekend off. Just tinkered around here and there. But I got a start getting back into this uh, be a little relief once I have some room let me see how good this works uh just prying these off to kind of screw them could be a new way of doing this for me just gotta get under the board but they say even um like a board sort, like you can pry these off, these logic boards. And if the board crumples or, you know, comes off in pieces, you say just take the pieces and throw them in the bin for the board. Don't matter. Kind of like doing the gold corner BGAs if they break up. Just pick up all the pieces and throw them all in there. See, I broke that one in half. Yeah, I'd rather unscrew them. I think it's screwing them a little easier. But... I'm already committed to this one. Yeah. See, like that little piece that's up on top? So if you can get that off, just add it to the pile. And there you go. And this here, I'm just going to, uh, the big ones, I'm just going to pull the boards off. Then they just go in the milk crates for later, later, later. I'll never look it up. That's cool, Mighty Scrapper. You go into streams and start, uh, you know, interacting with everybody and uh, going to people's channels and show them a message and you'd be surprised. I mean, I grew fast. I don't know how or why, but I did three weeks. When I was three weeks in, I was at 350 subs almost, and I'm over a thousand. I haven't even checked to see where I'm at. It's been quite a while. But I'm over a thousand. And I think I've only been doing this. Geez, when I start doing this? December maybe? January? Not long. Three, maybe four months, five months. I wasn't gonna do it, but uh Gil Skills uh kind of uh he didn't tell me to do it, but Kind of pushed me that way with what you know, hanging out on his streams and watching him and Recycle Dude and you know, WT. I mean, WTF Mike, that guy can get subs, anybody can get a sub. I don't care if you go to Jimmy John's, Subway, wherever, you can get a sub. But yeah, I gotta get more, uh, more active on YouTube again. I say, with um, I've been busy, then I got sick, and now I'm busy again. But I definitely, definitely, um, it's amazing how many people um, reach out to you, you know, they know you're not well, and, you know, well wishes, and yelling at you to go slow, and do this, and do that, and it starts to sink in, but um, I appreciate all the, uh, all the uh, well wishes and stuff that folks gave me, help me out, definitely help me out. Keeps your, you know, your spirits up. That's the other thing with these. Sometimes they're all the same, and sometimes they're not. Gotta go, man, getting off of work. MD Outdoors, appreciate you coming in. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. What bit set is that I need? Go to, um, if you go on Amazon... Um, I paid, I think I paid like $18 or something for this one. Um, but yeah, if you go on Amazon, what do I do with it? 
It's a you know, it's a Chinese one. It's got the stupid Chinese writing on the label there. It says a hyper hyper sequel. But um, I got that one, and I got this one here, which is a uh, 38 piece. But I got this for laptops and cell phones. But I've already destroyed this thing. But this has, I mean, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to show you this. What kind of look at that? There's dust bunnies. There's everything in here. Springs. But these are all the different bits um, for, like, cell phones and stuff like that. And this one here, I think, was only, like, $9 or something. But these came from, you know, China. But they work good. But then I have um, uh, just these. I used to like these, but, you know, just those little silver. I have millions of these damn things. Um, but, yeah, this one here is just go on Amazon and put in... Um, Micro bit set, I think. And there's all kinds. Even on eBay, you can find them on eBay, but you have to watch because, you know, you don't want to pay a million dollars. Or um, another thing that uh, I was reading somebody was doing was they were buying the small, like this one here. I use this one here a lot. Um, they were going to Lowe's and buying the, the small sets like this. Well, then when they strip out, you can take them back and get them replaced for free. So that's a pretty good idea. I might have to start doing that. Oh yeah, Mighty Scrapper. I mean, it's it's amazing that you know the, the you get in the the right communities. I mean, there's you know some communities that you know I don't even know anymore. There's there's still drama going on with YouTube, and it's kind of crappy. But you know, I don't want to get involved with drama. I just you know when I had when I was on there all the time, I was you know in all the streams and you know supporting everybody, and that's all you have to do. You know, say you're in my stream and you go, you know, somebody comes in here that you don't have, you know, say, you know, you don't have um, uh, Rapus or MD Outdoors or Gill Skills or WTF Mike or any of them. Go hit them up. Tell them you came over from my, you know, you waste Mike stream. Watch their videos. Um, and, you know, you got it. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. But. Uh, I mean, everybody that I know that's in here and in all the other streams I go to, they're all awesome people. You know, they all support each other. I mean, you go on Gill Skills, you know, and he's on, and that's nothing but support. You know, he supports everybody. Um, there's a couple other ones. Neuro Trigger, Mickey, uh, XOXO, um, Green Bay Wacky, you know, uh, Parmall. You know, all those guys. Um, I hit my thousand actually in um I wasn't even trying. I was in a B and O outdoors and Mickey popped in there and you know made a comment that I only needed a few more, so you know I got up to a thousand like really quick. So you can grow quick. You can definitely grow quick. Do I want to take that off of there? No. Okay, I'll take this one off. Then I want to do these laptops. Rapist, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. But yeah, Mighty Scrapper, any any stream you're in or anything, you know, like that, just go in the chat, talk to people in the chat, go to their channels, comment, let them know you were there. I have, um, you know, a lot of the videos that I post. There's people that I don't even know that um, you know, go into my me comments on my uh, videos, and I go and you know check your channel out, and you know I grab them up, and one more sub for me, and one more sub for them. So just make sure you watch the video, you know. Um, don't just go and hit the sub button and the like button and the bell, and you gotta watch the video. I hate these memory. Flatbed Trucker, good to see you. How are you? Doing well, I hope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the younger scrappers are cool to watch. But, you know, we can all, we all learn from each other. So. Whether you're young, old, fat, skinny, ugly, or uglier, I've never seen a good-looking scrapper, so.
Now, see, if these chips on this one here would have came off, they came off on the thing. If they would have came off on here, this piece of memory was $6 a pound. If I pulled this off and those chips stayed on here, this would have been $15.50 .50 a pound. So I'll just throw that in my ass and get that gold off of there. But then these are these are called RAM BJs. They have a gold, a high gold content. I don't know if you better see that in the camera, but there's like little dots. Uh, let me see what they're at. Like right where the screwdriver is. All inside there is gold bonding wires, but there's a lot of gold in these BGA chips. So put them on the side. This here is 15.50 or 15.25 for you know. It don't matter if it's laptop or what, as long as it's the gold. So that goes in my uh, my bag over here, which I'm still debating on whether to take. So I got this bag here. I got this bag here. So I think when I weighed this up, it was like two hundred some dollars. But I got a lot of loose memory and stuff laying around. Plus, all these have memory in them. So I'm probably not going to take these uh, tomorrow. Uh, yes. I just don't know yet. So this is one of the tubs that I got, which is just, you know, miscellaneous stuff. But, you know, this is hard drive. I'm going to add this caddy. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't want to come out once you stay in there. There we go. And then just pop the board off, and like I said, you know, another pound of boards is another eight fifty. And I, when I weighed that tote, it was just under seven hundred dollars for just the the boards. Plus, I still have all the aluminum and the cast aluminum off of these. So, I go there. So, like, this here is, like, half a pound, the black. is like, a half a pound of cast aluminum. And then this here is, uh, I said it's called Effie aluminum, which is, like, 40, 48 cents a pound, I think. 45 or 48 cents a pound. These get heavy real quick. And there's one to four in each one. And then this cap is sometimes, it's either stainless steel Metal or aluminum. This one's metal for the magnet sticks to it. But these weigh up real quick, too. And then uh, what else is in there? There's a reader in there. Which I haven't really figured out what to do with the readers yet. And then on the back of them, screw into the gold, like right there. That little piece. I'll just pop that off of my knife. And I'll put that in my asset, get that gold off of there. But I see these are down the road. I'm not really worried about them now. But it's just a montage. This is a auxiliary power supply. So this one here is computer, monitor, printer, auxiliary. And if you flip it over, you can actually shut the power off to like the computer, the monitor, you know, printer if you want to shut your printer off. This probably you I'll bet you a hundred dollars that this works. I'll bet on it. I'll bet this works. I don't know what I'm plugging in. I'm going to plug it in over here real quick. I need to get a... Oh, you know what? I got a power strip right here. Let's see. Curiosity. I'm missing all these comments. Or is he popping silver and gold RAM? Silver, I take the, um, the chips off of. I don't do the silver. And the silver don't really pay nothing to scrap. Stop talking about Mickey or so like that. Yeah, well, you know, Mickey's Mickey. Mickey me and Mickey have a love-hate relationship. It's actually funny. But also, also, all kidding aside, Mickey's awesome. She is awesome. So, let's see. So if you can see there, like the second button, Let's see, and it's easy to come on here. 
Let's see how the red lights on. That means it works. So this here, I'm not sure what the phone cord is for. So hey, just plug your computer, all this stuff in the back, and then you keep controlled by the switches. So this I'll probably keep. Um, something like this, you know. I mean, I'll keep it for myself. I'm not going to. Uh, Ralph, how are you, Ralph? Good to see you, buddy. This I'll deal. This is a personal. I would never give this to, uh, you know, I couldn't give this away, even though there's no personal information on it. It's just against the rules of what I do. I don't really like giving stuff away anyway. But then, um, power plugs, like, for computers. I have a computer guy gives me a dollar a piece for these. So, I have a big box full of them. And... I mean, there's a bunch of them in here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six just in this box. Seven. So there's eight dollars right there. Just if I would scrap these, I'd probably get about two dollars. So there's eight free dollars. I appreciate you licking it, but you know, if you get sick, it's not on me. Seven is enough. Good to see you. I'm gonna throw these in my box in the back. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to do a major rearranging down here. Maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. So how you been doing, Ralph? With this mess. Office phone tangled up in speakers. These, I don't do anything with them. I cut the wire off of them and pitch them. Um, I'd have a million freaking speakers if I kept them all. So, tomorrow's garbage day, so I can go right in the trash. Keep it right out of the way. And they're like light as a feather. And these here, I used to, uh, I have a box. I have one power cord for every much everything um i check to make sure it's so like this one here i'll keep i don't think i have one of these then if you ever want to see if something works you know a power cord but well then guess what you got a power cord this is just a regular phone charger so that's these here i used to break them open and take the little stuff but now i just uh, i just pull the copper ends off or the brass ends right here Throw them in a bucket. Cut the wire off. Oh, actually, that's a USB. So that's even better. So the rest of this, I'll just throw in my shred pile. This USB plug, I'll cut that off. That goes in my gold connecting gold plug bucket. And the other end goes in my gold connector bucket, too. So I got shred. I got gold connecting end and wire. Oh, and one thing. So the rest of this is just a uh, wire and power supply, which is a big pile over there. I was going to take them to Ohio, but I got wore out. But so these are the same thing. These plug into the uh, hard drives. They have gold pins in them. Just cut the ends. Throw them in your connector pile, connector bucket. Here's a brand new keyboard for a laptop. But I'll take this apart, and there's a silver mylar with white lines on there. That's actually silver. So that's what to do later, as long as this phone. This phone probably has a gold cord in it. Most of them do. And get rid of this. Right. So yeah, we'll do all this later. And I know what's in there. Uh. 
Find another bucket. But just the way this guy gave me all this stuff, just all in four buckets. So there's another one of those. I'm mainly looking for memory, laptop batteries, uh, CPUs, stuff like that. This here is what's called number three copper. It's like a like, real thin. You know, a lot of people say, what's number three copper? There it is. It's just like real, real thin stuff. I never even heard of it until about a year ago. I was taking number two today. I only got 25, but it's 250. That's awesome. I just got a two dollars a pound for number two. I was gonna hold on to a lot of the USB 2.0 seven port hub aluminum housing. 14.99 still in the pack. I'll make you a deal right now. Two dollars. You hear that, the ding? That would be Mickey XOXO. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Corey. Oh, that's one of my other board buyers. Mickey usually does the other. So, like, this thing, this is a CD-ROM. Um, I could sell this for 14 cents a pound. Or... I had a clean spot here. It has four little screws in the corner. So you take those four, four screws out. And this is shred steel. Uh, and you take this board out. It's just clipped in there. Sometimes they have a screw. So all your CD-ROMs, board sort pays, I think, 12 bucks a pound for these. I have a big tote full. And the only thing I'll take off of this is... This little crystal oscillator right there. And the rest of that, that little board will go is $12, $12 a pound. So that's something else that goes in my... And then if you do gold, um, some of these tape wires, if you look on the end, it's kind of hard to see on the camera. But they're, uh, they actually have gold on the very end of them there. So I can get the focus in there maybe. No, it's not going to show it. But they have gold on them. Just that one there does. The other ones on here, um, my yard will buy them as like a low grade copper wire, which is like a Christmas lights, you know, that cat that category. So, but I have a jar of these that I process as well. Then I throw my other crap stuff over in that barrel. So, this is a PCI card. So that's got the gold fingers on it. So I'll cut those off. Sometimes underneath here you'll get a gold corner BGA. Uh, let's see if we can pop this off. That popped off. I'm not using the right tool for the job. That's the time. 60 cents a pound for ribbon wire. That's pretty good. Yeah, see, this just has a lousy flip chip on it, which they're junk. Um, so I got a piece of extrusible aluminum. Um, and then, like, the gold fingers, I'll pop them off. Depending on what the price goes for gold fingers, um, right now I think they're only, like, $25 a pound. I've only seen them as high as 30 So I could take these off. So now... This I can get like $1.35 a pound for, and I got a big tote full of them upstairs. So I'll probably pull that little ceramic um, crystal oscillator off of there. I'll put that on the side. And then I put my gold fingers in a little <coughs> bucket over here. But I've been processing, but I keep them all in here. But those are all gold fingers from all different stuff. But like the real thick ones, like this one, compared to, say, that one. The top one is old. It's from old computers, so it's a lot thicker gold, so it's better better quality. But it all is the same. It gets processed the same way. It gets processed the same way. It's just better. Uh, let's see what we got. Since you have... Yeah, see my scrapper, that's all you have to do. Just um, do me a favor and don't put sub, you know, the, um, 
put like I got you or sat on your porch and farted or something like that. Um, YouTube, they uh, don't like the, uh, the S words. But that's all you got to do. Just, you know, interact with people in chat. And they'll get you. They'll, they'll grab you. And you got JJ. JJ is a good guy. This is a Apple mouse. You know what I think of Apple crap? I hate Apple. Anything Apple. I agree with the color. I don't even know. See, this is all like random, random stuff in here. Like a piece of plastic. What is this? I see like these here. This is probably uh yeah, this is one of the the weird plugs. Um I have one that's an adapter for this. Um, these are like mostly servers. But like this one here, I'll just cut the end off. This will go on my gold connector. The rest is just wire. This one too. Just cut the end off of that. So that'll go down the down the line. Uh, Windows 98. Really? That goes right in the trash. I don't think that's going to work. Trash. Gemma! How are you doing, dear? Good to see you. Hope things are going well with you. Dang! This is a lockbox for a, a house. So if you're bored, you can sit here and do the four number combinations until you get it open. You just got to remember what number it was. But you can, once you uh, open it, you can reset it. So let's go six. So this is, yeah, if you, if you have no life at all and you like the challenge, here is your challenge. I had one buddy, uh, he is a real estate agent. All his numbers were five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it's one of his. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. So I'll put down the side. So this is just a little wire that I'll deal with over the weekend or sometime. And the mouse. I'm not sure. This is a USB Etherlink box. That's interesting. I've never seen one of those. See, I told you. You start talking about her, she will pop up. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I've been trying to hide from her all day. So, see, in the bottom of this here is a whole bunch of old memory. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, green fiber CPU. Gold plug. Piece of wire. And the rest of this is trash. So now what do I do with this tub? Probably throw it away. Because I don't need it. We don't need that. I don't need this rubber either. This, I don't know what this was. And this, and this. So, put that all in there. The next one. This looks like it's pretty much all wires. And the nice thing about this one to be uh, this is one down the cord so that's eight nine ten eleven there's twelve cords so far so these all have the I mean I can sit here all night and cut all these off and add it to my pile but I think I'll just Put them on for the next one. Um, I'm going to hook one of these up to my computer.
key. Um, that's the second pile of making things. I've already done uh, another batch that size that are already over there on the shelf, ready for my laptop wire. Those I have to go through yet. But I'm probably going to hook this up so I can run my um, two monitors for my one computer. So, you know, instead of going to buy this stuff, and there's this one, there's that one. It's just an internet cable. I mean, there's a bunch of them. So, you know, these here, I'll probably save two or three of them just to have them. There's another dollar cord. Dollar cord. There's a dollar shave club. I got the dollar cord club. Bam. So there's another cord. I lost count. And then even if they come in like these laptop plugs, sometimes they'll be one of these triangle looking dudes. Would I sell silicone chips as game fiber? Um, green fiber chips are going to be these, and they don't only take those. Oh, that's a no-pin processor. Yeah, green fiber. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a green fiber chip. Um, they pay more if the aluminum cap. It'll have a cap on it like this. If you take that cap off, you'll get paid more, um, like almost double. Like I think this is six dollars a pound. This is eleven dollars a pound. But to take these off, I mean, it's, it takes a second to do. Just take a uh, putty knife, or if you have one of these deals, five and one. What is on that? That looks like butt wax or something. You know, butt waxes, butt wax is when you take a toilet off the floor and you got that wax ring that's butt wax that's what i call it anyway i'm still here working and lurking well as long as you're lurking and working that's all right i'm getting excited waiting for that mug to come in here I'm getting excited but yeah you just stick it underneath there get it started and then put it on the tabletop and push it down and it pulls that cap off. This cap is number two copper. So you can get number two copper and you get double price on, on the uh, green fiber ones. Now these here, the no pin ones, I pull the cap off. I scrape the stuff out of the middle, which is uh, their MLCCs, which are people save them, but I gave up saving them. But if you knock that off and I throw that in an acid and that gold will come off. So technically they can go into my my uh, gold fingers but so yeah this all looks like it's all all those power cords that i sell for a dollar a piece so i got a ruler i used to get hit with this thing back in the day i just check it it'll be there tomorrow or so it says yet yeah, i have a um a guy mba that lives in Nancy, Kentucky. I don't know if you know where that's at. But I sell him a lot of this uh, this memory stuff. And it's usually a day, you know, two days the most. I just want to open it up with a, a, a razor knife. And I want to pull it out of the box with a pair of pliers. That's all I want to do. And this is broke. I've just been uh, too busy to check the tracking on it. But I'm not worried about you. I know you got it. Oh, look at here. See? Dig in the bottom and. This is an air compressor hose. With a little air fadubo. Fadubo. A fadubo. So, so you never know what you get in the bottom of these, Mr. Reed. It's like a brand new hose, too. I'll give that to my neighbor. I will give that to my neighbor. He'll appreciate that. Put that over here. So now you got me wanting to dig to the bottom. 
What the hell is this? Oh, this is a paper punch. Put your paper in there and make a hole. So this is scrap. I could care less about that. Well, my roommate wrote like that. Uh, brand new little fan. Still in the package. Another piece of memory. And this. Somebody needs to get the raid. Get rid of those gnats. You got gnats and I got mice. And here's a bottle of liquid with uh, two Allen wrenches. So I don't know what that's about. I'll keep the Allen wrenches though. Look at here. More memory. I think my favorite things to collect are the memory and the hard drive. I got a Hot Wheels car not even open. Should we open it? It's got a question mark on it. What do you think it is? Looks like a clothes hanging for that bikini holder. Somebody paid a dollar to see if this is. Should we open this? See what it is? MLCC silver contacts are so annoying and trying to save. Yeah, I quit uh, doing it. I don't even mess with MLCCs anymore. Silver contacts, I have a bunch over there. Um, Mighty Scrapper, if you go to 99 Dusan uh, channel, he just did a, a video on the silver contacts instead of doing the assets and all that stuff. Uh, what he did is he <clears throat> took them off of the, uh, the copper or whatever they were on. He melted it, and then he took borax, or then he put it in water, and then he took it out of the water, melted it again, and sprinkled borax on it. And what the borax does, we, we use borax for the gold, too. It brings the impurities out, and once it all, um, he put the borax, borax on it, then he took it and he put it back in water. He did that three times, and he got 925 nine, silver out of it. So it was kind of interesting, but 99 Dusan, D U S A N, uh, he does a lot of interesting stuff. But it, that's one way to do it without using the acid. I'm going to try it because I have some big uh, silver contacts over there. So I'm going to try it um, when the weather gets a little better so I can do it outside. Just, you know, you got to do it out in the, uh, out in the air. You don't want to do that inside. But here's some of them that I took off. I still have a bunch to do. And I just heated these up with a torch and got them off of the, uh, but that's all silver there. But, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is melt all this down and, you know, cool it off in the water. And then I'm going to take it back out and I'm going to melt it again, put the borax on it. And... I'm going to do that a couple times like he did, and then I'm going to test it, and it should be uh, 925. This is borax right here. It looks like cocaine. Oh, wait. This is cocaine. Hold on a minute, guys. Jesus. Let my secrets out. <laughs> I lost weight. I pooped this morning. Being a being, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I didn't even see you sneak in there. Mickey got me distracted. That's not my last one. What about this uh, Hot Wheels thing? Should we open it up and see what's in it? It's got a question mark. It's a mystery Hot Wheels. Why it's in a uh, a computer electronics hall? Huh? Yes, she is. That she is. Here. Plumber's Teflon tape. Don't know. Uh, what that? Little torque screw. Open it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to open it in a minute. That's more memory. More memory. Man. A lot of goodies on the bottom. This is when Mickey has an idea. One dim light bulb. Didn't even know they made them anymore. So, 
So, oh, wait a minute, guys. Look at Got one of them. Regulator valve for something. Uh oh, this has something in it. Another plug. Nothing. Garbage. All right. Oh. Another memory. Here's a hose to beat Mickey's ass with. Smack the crap right out of her. Smack the pizza taste out of her face. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I feel bad. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a violent man, huh? So, yeah, a lot of this is just... You know, this is porridge. So, I'll put all those. I'll add those to that pile. Those to that pile. Those to that pile. I'm going to put all these here. Put the mouse in there. Uh, what else was it? Oh, these here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Quit calling me, Mickey. Jeez. See, my neighbor wants that fan. All right. So get rid of this box. I got to open the car for NBA. And then I'll go to the next one. What do I do with the car? I lost the car, NBA. Let me get this out of the way. And get these out of the way. That goes over there. That goes outside to my pile of crap. I can go outside. Uh, go outside. Shorter's moral. That out of the way. Ouch. Mickey, why'd you ask me if I lost weight? See this big belly? Wrong with it. Like that memory, it's all gold. A little gold on it. So shiny. Let's see, I don't know if I want to take and sell this or keep and pile it up because the prices will go up. As soon as the gold price goes up, that stuff will go to the roof. Like it always does. Alright, so I'm taking boards off of that stuff. I'm just going to sit over here for now. Put the hole puncher over there for now. Put so this over there for now. All right, NBA, you ready? We're going to open up this here. This Hot Wheels. And then I'm going to send it to you. The mystery. You traded a six pack for a keg. I man, I traded my six pack for the truck. What are you talking about? Uh oh. We got a looks like a barracuda. That's a barracuda. In the mystery hot wheels thing. This is probably worth ten million dollars until I open the NBA, thanks to you. 
So there you go. All the wheels work. Yeah, I'll just sit here. I'll put it in my car. Let's go. Here, we'll make a little, uh, we'll make a little parking space for it. There you go. Park it right there. Look at that. And then the mean top came and said, hey, you can't park there. <laughs> oh, I should have did it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my little car up here on the laptop. There we go. I'll smash it, NBA. I'll smash it. I tell you. Peel and win. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. That may be a winner. A wiener. Something. A win? I can't win shit. I can't read the damn thing. What a crock. CMBA. Got me all jacked up now. This thing weighs 100 pounds. All right. So this. So these are all mystery totes. I have no idea what's in it. Except this here is a lot more of those uh, $1 calls. Except for that one. $1 power cords. Get off. Get off. It's like having a net on you all the time. Get off. There's a good power cord. Yep. Those are all the... Alright. The rest of these are laptop screens. I'm going to put my power cords in my box back right here. Hips hurt. Oh, so that's my laptop guy. If he uh, hips like on the beat, yes. or up. Um, let me fix this real quick. Ain't nothing good in this one. Anything good in that is some gold fingers. Throw them in there. And this here will uh, straighten the lid up a little bit here. And uh, hmm. Still has the motherboard in it though. So I can put it in the pile so it has a. This is what's called an incomplete, non working laptop. Right here. I don't know why they would say that, but I really wish my truck would get back so I can get the truck loaded. So the rest of these are just screens. Um, that's my laptop buyer if he wanted them. None of them are broke, but he said he don't want them. So the only thing that's worth anything on these is this little board. I'll pull this board right here off. Like that. So that's got a bunch of gold on it. And then this here, I'll just throw into my shred steel pile. And I'll get away with it. Sometimes some of these will have gold on them too, but that one don't. So this looks like a to be continued. A lot of weight in here now. See, this is the stuff you got to watch out for. The razor blade in the bottom of that one. Somebody trying to kill me. There's another one. So throw that right in that bucket. Get rid of that. Make sure there's 
Remember, you're not the laying around there. All right. That was easy. Go to this one. Uh, if you send pics of all e-waste components, I'll send pics. Yeah, you can do that. Or you can uh, shoot it to me in an email. Um, if you go on my about section on my channel, my email is up there. It's actually FordManMurphy at Yahoo.com. All uh, small case letters. But yeah, I can uh help you help you out on what whatever you need, you know. I can tell you what I know. I don't know it all, but I didn't know you left. I hear you got a lurker in your last three screams. Screams? Streams. I hear you don't pop up until like the last minute. So, I bet a thousand dollars this worked. I bet. Anybody want to bet a thousand? But I have so many of these that I don't really need them. Where is the end of this part? I couldn't type in chat. Ah. <laughs> Let's reach over here and plug this in, see if we can electrocute it. Let's see. You push the button. Look at that. I get this stuff all the time. All this stuff works. See, I can't type. I can see that you wrote, see, I can't type. Check video cable. So this is actually a good monitor, but it's so small that I have no use for it. I have a 50-inch uh, monitor. I have a 43-inch monitor, and I have a 62-inch TV. So I don't need a monitor. So even though this works, they're not worth uh, trying to sell. You get like 10 bucks for them if you're lucky. But we'll just, uh, and say I got thousands of them. I don't need any more. I feel like we're about to take a blue or red pill. Take a blue pill. I took a blue pill this morning. Wasn't for that, though. Wasn't for that. So let's see what else we got here. Like I said, these are all just like mystery boxes. I have a what's in. It's just shred steel. Uh, CD-ROM. Another hard drive. That's good. Another hard drive. That's good. Another hard drive. That's good. I have no idea, but you know what? This is a lie ion battery. Put a gold on that thing. That's crazy. So, this here, I'll just tape up all these ends and I can sell that just like that. And here's another piece of crappy uh, plastic that can go in the garbage can. Uh, here's another piece of that. Uh, see if this one here will come up. Six dollars a pound. Like that. This should go easy with it. It'll come off better. How late you gonna work today? Five p.m. No, way past five, Mickey. Way past five. Um. Yeah, it's, chips are coming off. Um. All the stuff that I had in my basement to go to Ohio, I carried outside by myself. These are brand new heat sinks and fans, but to me, it's an electric motor and extruded aluminum. That's good. Um, 
And as soon as my truck gets here, I'm going to load that up. So in the morning, I don't have to uh, load it up. I can just get it in and go. So I'm probably going to be 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. So there's another big hard drive. Plus, any of these hard drives, I find these totes. I want to pull the boards off. So I can uh, throw them in the, in the deal. See, like the ends on that? That's all gold plated. But I'll just cut these off. See the gold inside there? There's actually people that sit and take these apart and pull the gold pins out, but I don't know if it's worth it. You know, I mean, it's, I guess it's something to do if you don't have nothing to do. Reversible parallel audio switch. I don't know. Power supply to go up the mountain of them. Uh, the rest of this looks like some wire, keyboards, oh, hard drive. Hard drive. Hard drive. Hard drive. Let's say you gotta look like way down in here. It's another memory. Here's some more a uh, dollar fifty a pound for these. So I'll just take the ends. Facebook groups help me get more subs. Facebook groups. Go into the um one of the groups I'm in there is a. Uh, Gold and E, Gold E Recovery. Um, you want to learn some stuff? Them guys will. Them guys will teach you. Those guys, those guys have been doing this stuff for years. Like when computers first came out. Man, there's a lot of the batteries in there. Jeez. This is probably this is brand new. Look how pretty. It's even silver. Oh, you're in that one, uh, Money Scrapper? That's cool. Um, but like I said, I've been I haven't really been active um, in the groups as much as I should be or I used to be. Um, just because I got way too busy and not enough time to, uh, you know, sit there and chit chat with the feathers. The whole bottom of this thing is all uh, laptop batteries. And a brand new one. Even though you get like some of the coax, got the gold, it's gold flashing on there too. Some of the wire sometimes is uh, copper inside. If you put it to a magnet, if you watch it, it'll go down. Watch the wire. See how it goes down to it? So that means it's not copper. It means it's crap. All right, so I should be done here shortly. I got one, two, three, four. How many more I got? I got like two more. Damn, I want you all there. Oh, three more. Two more. Three more. I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is take this bucket. Cable. I really just want to have an itch. I really just want the hard drives and the batteries right now in the disk drive. The rest of this we can uh, putz with it over the weekend. Like I said, after uh, tomorrow's little trip, I think Thursday I'm going to be sitting on my ass all day because I'm already wore up. Already wore out. Shut my phone off. Shut my computer off. That way nobody will bother me. No names mentioned. And the other, other benefit of this is... Jeez. Oh, I got more totes. I showed this thing in my video. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It says, Skip Doctor Rejuvenating Fluid. 
<laughs> I don't know. Ryan Sharpie uh, lives right by me. Uh, I cut ends off, and then shred it goes. What the hell is this thing? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe for CDs or something. Are we on to something here? Yeah. It's a cleaner for something. I don't know. I ain't got time to do it right now. Though. We'll put that on uh, to be continued. Yeah, Ryan Sharpie, I've uh, actually personally talked to him. So here we just have this is a piece of shred. We've got another one of these office phones. Like I said, this is all gold inside here. Um, I'll do a video on taking them apart or a live stream or something. What I'm going to do is transfer all this from crappy keyboards, which I hate, and a piece of shred. Is a believe it or not, there's actually a desktop in this one. <laughs> so, put that out of the way. This is the fun part of doing this is digging in boxes. I never, never knew. Uh, this. Is a Dell something. Now, this might be uh, one of those um, touch screens. Scrapper Dave has marathon series of him taking those. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. If this... All right, this has to open somehow. What do we got here? This is weird. I've never seen one of these. E waste is baffled. All right, it says lock or unlock. Oh, something happening. Something moved. It moved a little. It'll open with a damn hammer. What's this here? Oh, crap. Well, we'll get back with that one. <laughs> That's a computer, but I've never seen something like that. It's almost like a portable. Look at that. It's almost like a monster laptop with a big old handle on it. What if it is a laptop? All right, well, we'll... That's a to be continued. Put him over there. Uh, the rest of this is possibly cords. Oh, another battery. Another piece of memory. A couple more batteries. Um, that out. Oh, Chromebook. Little memory. Laptop hard drive. All right. No idea. Ink cartridge, maybe? Yeah, that's an ink cartridge. Even on your ink cartridges, if you do gold, always look on them. See right on the tip there? This little piece right there? It's actually gold. I don't deal with uh, printers and stuff, but I take the ink cartridges off. I pull the gold out. So, like this one here, this ink cartridge. See on the end? It's all gold, and it just pops right off. Sometimes you can get it with your 
fingernail, but I don't want to break my nail. That would be tragic. But it just sits in there. It's easy to get up. I'll leave that in there. And then your touchpad on your uh, on your laptops, they all have gold around them. That little square right there is, you see it. But there's gold all around here, around there. So this is but I'll just pop that pop that off. Get the gold out of that. And this here's just scrap scrap the deal. And that was an easy one. Yeah, workshop's getting full again. So these are trash. They can go right in the trash. We use Chromebooks for. I just um. Yeah. See what my my buyer for laptop says. As long as the screens aren't broke, um, you know they're good to go. But I got some. And I did yesterday, I noticed there was some I3s in there, so I might pop them out and keep those. What I hate is sometimes the uh, battery thing is broken, the release, like this one. So you got to fight with it to, I have to fight too hard on that one. So... I'm going to say, just check to see if they're a light ion battery. If they are, then they're good to go. Board sort will take them all. And they're always in different spots. You can't... I'm so blind, I can't see that little writing anyway. Sometimes I get lucky and spot it, but... Light ions right there. Alright. So this one here, I'll just... Um, I'll get to it later. Uh, man, I just got rid of like 400 printers. I had this whole wall in my basement from like right here where this window is all the way back to the next window and probably about five feet out. It was all printers. And I just got fed up with them and I took them to the, uh, I asked my scrapyard if they would take them to shred just so I can get rid of them. And he said, yep, no problem. They don't want them because they're, they're just mostly plastic. But I just I, I had no room for nothing, and I have no room for nothing now. So printers, I take the the ink out of them for the cartridge. If it has the gold on it, if it don't, it goes right into the shred. I don't even play well. Don't want nothing to do with it. All right. So, that's a disk drive, so we'll take that apart tonight. Lots of wire. That's a piece of cast aluminum. I have no idea what that is. This just looks like a montage of uh, another heat sink. I set up the hard drives, memory. That's a weird icon. Oh, this is from uh, my scrapper. Uh, yeah, my scrapper. When I get uh, done here, I'll go through that and look at it for you. Anybody need a remote? Don't know what it's for. You waste is calling you. You ain't calling me. You got my phone number. You're just afraid that I'll get your phone number and that'll be it for you. You it'll be over. Everybody will have your phone number, maybe. Everybody. <laughs> Give me a call sometime. I'd hate to talk to you. I mean love to talk to you. There's a whole bunch of those power cords. 
cool. Oh, what the heck this thing is. It's interesting though. Oh, it must be oh, it's a switch box. Here's a booger rig. Whip up your booger hook. So yeah, this box here is just a. Uh, there's another uh, PCI card. The copper and motors from. So that's how I started out. Uh, Mighty Scrapper. I used to take the microwaves apart and, I mean, anything. But once I got into the electronics and stuff, that stuff, it's just, there's no time for it. You know, I go where the, that's where the money was. Another PCI card. Oh, it's got here. Uh, I have no idea what that is. I probably made about forty dollars, thirty dollars in uh just power cords to sell to my uh fire. Huh. Discettes. Who the hell uses discettes anymore? Trash. I don't know what's in the bottom of this because it's hard to see down there. So here we go. I'm making a mess for nothing. PCI card. That's a uh, CD drive. I just sell them like that. I don't take them apart. Here's a little nerd book. See, the rest of this is just like more wires and more wires and more wires. Well, that's kind of a cool little thing. Took a little magnet. When you get a bunch of screws on there, you open it up and dump it. It's actually got a uh, little spit in there. Oh, there's another one. Man, I go through these like they're in the... That's pretty cool. Not something I would want, but it's pretty cool. A lot of brand new ribbon wire. Yeah, so that just looks like it's all wire too. So I have to go through all this stuff. I started um, doing this like four years ago. And back then, I was taking everything. I took microwaves, I took air conditioners, I took blow dryers, curling irons. Because when I first started, everybody was you know, silver contacts, silver contacts. Well, anything that makes an electrical connection has a silver contact. Light switches, all that stuff. So I had boxes because I used to work for a, a property uh, investor. He had a bunch of rental properties, so we did all the, uh, you know, plumbing and electrical and all that stuff. So I just had mountains and stuff. And the funny thing was, at the time, if I was started doing it, uh, like the old TVs, the old tube TVs, which you can't get rid of. Um, he always cried like on Wednesday when his dumpster was getting empty because it wasn't full. So he was paying for a half of the dumpster. <laughs> so I said, well, and if I was doing this stuff back then, I would have had that thing filled every day for him, no problem. But um, I just used to collect everything. Look at that. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm going to send that to Mickey. What is that? Fuzzy. I'm going to send it to Mickey. I don't have to pay people. People love me, Mickey. Not like you. You're just a mean old lady. Just mean. Mean, mean, mean. 
Screwed on my left shoulder so bad. I can barely use my arm. Invoice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I need that. What do I see, Mickey? People don't pay me. It's easy to get rid of TVs. Yeah, I wish they would do it here. I wish they would do it here. Um, the city came through and gave us those, um, if you look on my videos, those garbage cans. So I have a couple um, regular guys that come around. And if they bring me the small ones, I don't want those big 23-inch, 20-inch. I do like 15 and, and uh, smaller. I just take the board out. I take the copper yoke out, and I throw the rest of the garbage can with the city deal with it. I don't care. But I just paid, uh, last fall I paid like $500 to get rid of like 300 of them. Hard to get rid of This is the last backbreaking tote, thank God. Oh, yeah. This radio, which I don't want. I bet you it works. Try some. You know what? The projector TVs, <coughs> if you get the, um, there's two different styles. One's an HDMI. If it has an HDMI um, plug in it, those have. A gold ceramic, it's called a DLP uh, CPU in it. The other one, if it's not a DLP, it's just a you know a board with the with the uh, projectors in it. So those I don't even want, but the the HDMI. I just bought one yesterday. I forgot. How does this thing work? I push the button. I push the radio. I hear something. I'll get a copyright for this. I don't care. I'm not a YouTube. Uh, YouTube ain't my life, so I don't care. I don't know if it didn't work. Yeah, it does work. That's cool. You got a little CD player in there. Open. And it's got a CD in it. We lucky? Nope. All right, close. Now that's interesting. It does work. Dynamic bass boost. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go sit on my porch and blast this bad boy. I only dance naked, Mickey. I sent you that video, remember? Jeez. You got a short term memory or what? Short term memory. I'm going to put this back here on my work, man. Maybe I'll keep it. And rock out to the sound of the 1920s. What else we got? I was going to say, I get a lot of stuff that works. Here's an adding machine. Can add up those taxes. Are we betting it works? I'm going to say it does. Because everything I've plugged up so far has worked. So. Plugged up. And I should have that was my toilet this morning. Plugged up. All right. Here we go. It works. It works. But I will put it on the pile over there with the other 10 that I have. I don't need it. Don't need it. Anybody want it? That's actually kind of crap I hate getting. Try some light. I have the uh, lidocaine uh, patches, but 
Um, the guy I got this stuff from, he told me that there's a, a cannabis oil that works wonders. He says, but you know, I hear it's super expensive, so I don't know. What is this? What is it? Treble, I guess it's a speaker. A speaker? Yeah, I guess it's a speaker. So that's garbage. I got no use for that. Oh, I'm running out of fuel here. There's another. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this one. Yeah, this one's completely gutted out. But it does have the kind of in the corner. It's got gold right there. So that'll get a. Uh, that'll get treated with a little love. Uh, oh, this is a uh, CD ROM. This probably works too. What else we got? Oh, that's more memory. Another green fiber CPU. Laptop. Another battery. Power supply is still in the box. What the hell is this thing? Just like a little, little receipt machine. That's kind of weird. You've got a receipt in it. Never seen one of them. Another crappy power supply. That goes right on the Ohio bus. Francis Urban Spirits. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I use that cream and I'm an old man, though, my scrapper. You know, I'm not a young buck like you. I'm an old guy. I wish I was young again just so I'd feel better. No other reason. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the, to the young days. Speakers in a bag. Look how old these speakers are. Look at the plug. All right, the rest of this is all power cords for like laptops and stuff. I don't see any more laptop batteries or anything like that. So this is all. That's part of a neodymium magnet. That's what's inside of a uh, hard drive. These things are super, super strong. I mean, it's strong. If you take the two pieces together and get your fingers stuck in there, you're going to get a blood blister for sure. If you're lucky, that's all you need. Let's see if I this all laptop power cords. Which I used to have a bunch of them too, but. Got rid of a lot of them. I'm like an elephant walking up the steps. So, put that in there. I think that will, uh, I think that was the last tote from that guy. Good. So, and then I got a, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten of these. These are HP uh, One Touch. Still got worn out. I got all my. Well, where do you get my age? 
So these are just the uh, you know the all in one the one touch computers. So it's all right there. The motherboard. It still has a CPU in it. What kind of CPUs are in these? We got like 10, we got 10 of these, so that's a big deal. You don't see you don't get too many of these. You don't see them out, out too often. I'll take these four screws out real quick. What time is it? Oh, Mickey going home in a minute. We well, got about another 20 minutes. You'd be running out of that office like you stole something. Time to stop working for you. <clears throat> I would probably stop, Mickey, if I wasn't going to Ohio tomorrow, and if I didn't get this stuff in, and like I said, I want to take all the boards off of this. All the stuff I'm doing is easy to do. You know, it don't take long to do it, but um, it's just more I can add to the pile for tomorrow, unless I have uh, laying around. I even threw out those, um, those brown barrels I had, so... So this here, I'll just sell this as a copper aluminum radiator. It's like 85 cents a pound. Um, I just took a bunch of these in this morning. I had a, a couple buckets of these, and I had um, some of uh, these radiators um, out of AC units that I uh, took apart. So I want to get rid of those. And so you just pull that little, this little bracket off. I know I'm on a camera, sorry. So it's just a little cleaner, you know. It don't have to be spotless, but I just snap those off. So when they look, but I don't have no problems. My scrap yard. So I'll just sell that just like that. I mean, this thing here is feather light. I could, if I wanted to, just cut the copper off, and I have number two copper and destroy this with aluminum, which this one here I'll probably do because it's so easy. But the copper runs all the way through it. So there was a time where I didn't take all the copper pins off, but I don't do that anymore. So the CPU is what I wanted to see. Wait up. So it's a green fiber. It's an AMD. Yeah, it's just a regular. But see, like that one there is pretty heavy. I mean, see how thick that cap is? So I'll pop that cap off. Get a little bit more money for it. The rest of this I'll just leave here for now. I'll do these when I do the other 10. Oh. I want to see what this keyboard is. It's on a box. Media keyboard, $29.99. I will scrap it today. Look at that. Brand new. Gonna get smashed up. Damn, this thing got a lot of weird buttons on it. Dear Mickey, please go away. Send. Did it work? Oh, my, my watch. As long as he is careful, he'll be, yeah. No, I'm not, I mean, I had to carry a lot of stuff out. Yeah, I did it by myself, so that kind of wore me out pretty quick. But, you know, it's something I had to do. I had to get it done. So I got that done, and like I said, when my truck gets here, which I should be back here any minute. Hope you trip. I mean, don't trip. Shouldn't run. And uh, then I'm going to load up my truck. And then I'm probably going to uh, finish up these little boards. And grab a shower. And got to get up early tomorrow. I'm not leaving early. Um, it's like three and a half hours. So if I leave at like 930, 
I can be there by 1230. Uh, takes about an hour by the time you unload it. And, you know, they put everything in their little computer system and cut you your check so you can get the hell out of there. So I'm really only there an hour and then it's, you know, three and a half hours back. So it's seven hours of just drive time for an hour's worth of work. Um, but, you know, it, it gives me some room because I've been storing that stuff since last fall. Um, I think the last time I went to board sort was in October. So from October till, you know, April, um, you know, I've just been storing it up. And But once I get rid of, I got, just got a pile back there that's, um, let me see if I can do this without storing anything. But if you look back, uh, let's see which side. About where my finger is against the wall. It's nothing but totes and stuff. I mean, you can see the pile back there. It's ridiculous. So once I go through that against the wall stuff, I know there's a tote full of keyboards. Um, I have a million cable boxes back there. Um, video game consoles are all on the shelf. There's DVD players, you know, just tons and stuff. And then right there, uh, let's see, right there, that gray stuff, that is these, these power supplies. So that's, you know, I'm five foot and it's probably up to my shoulder tall. So those I have to start breaking down and uh, taking the boards out of them. I was going to take them and sell them at board sort. They pay 14 cents a pound for them. But um, when you take them apart, they're a low-grade board. So technically, you can get a shred steel for the case. There's really good aluminum in them. There's a lot of copper motors in them. Um, some of the motors I'll strip, some I don't. So, you know, how much can I... I'm probably doing better by taking them apart and, uh, you know, stripping everything out of them because, you know, they're bulky, they're heavy. Well, they're not really that heavy, but, you know, trying, trying to put them in a, you know, pile them all on a truck and make room for it. the good stuff. This is like the low-grade stuff here. This is the garbage stuff. So I just decided I was going to keep them piled there and, um, <laughs> much as I hate to do it, when I clean that out back there, way in the corner back there is a um, uh, a little hole like between the filing cabinet and that one shelf. Well, right now there's flat screen TVs in there, but I'm going to take them out, and I'm probably going to start piling all those power supplies back in that corner so they're different, way out of the way. Then I'm going to have to deal with them or look at them until I'm ready to. But that's taking up a, uh, a pretty big chunk of space right there. Real estate out of prime down here in the, my workshop. So, low grade. Yes, I'm coming over for dinner. I am having chicken that is rolled in crumbled up Ritz crackers and seasoning. That's what I'm having for dinner. VCRs, um, I used to. I have some on the shelf there. Um, I used to be as to the point where I would take the, uh, the reader head apart and take the copper out of that and keep the rest for aluminum. But I haven't taken one apart in a while. A lot of the um, old TVs I had, the old tube TVs, they had like the built-in VCRs. And, you know, now the flat screens have, you know, the built-in DVDs, which I would rather deal with those. And even these, because these here, um, these are like a treasure hunt. I'm buried in my drill. Sometimes when you open these, there's a DVD in there. So, you know, you might get a movie. You might get a game. You might get a startup disc for uh, operating systems. You just never know. See, like this board's here. Remember how little that, that other board was? So that was the, the first 
this way. See the difference? <laughs> so they come in all shapes and sizes, but they're all the same price. So and now you said it's just like a little tab. You pull that little tab back. Once in a while, they'll have a screw in them. And then this piece right here. I really wish that would show up to show you. But right on that top is gold plating. It don't matter how I do it. It's not going to. You can kind of see it there. See the gold? So but what I do with these is I just. Uh, I'll just cut the end off about to there. On both ends, and then I'll throw this in my bucket to be refined for the gold, and then this I just throw on the barrel there for the ribbon wire. And then you know, once in a while, I'll pull these little little pieces off if they're easy to come off. If they're not, I don't sweat it. But I could go deeper into this because there is a motor there. But back when I started, that's what I used to do. I take the motor out, I take this piece of brass out, I take the reader out, you know, the eye. But I don't do that anymore because as you go along doing this, you figure out what's what's worth your time and what's not. I don't really value my time, but I like doing this. It's, even though it's a full-time deal, I take it as the um, keep streaming. I'll see you when I get home. How much are you paying me? Damn. Always bossing me around. You're not the boss of me. You see what I got to put up with, people? Girls 18 hours away bossing me around. She needs to move to Thailand. That's what she needs to move. So, when I cut the wire off of these, um, a lot of these black ones, these are all going to be gold, gold pins in there. So, I'll cut all them off. And then, this here, this, get over here in the Massive pile. I'm just waiting for it to fall down. And it'll be the end of it. And then these are a little harder to cut because they have like a nylon over them. But get a pair of these cable cutters from, uh, there I got these at uh, Harbor Freight. I actually got two pairs. I got a new pair of back on that back bench. So I, wear, I wear them out quick. You can put that whole thing in there. It's, see, it's got that nylon on it. Now I just take a pair of like tin snips. Of it but that's got a bunch of the black plugs on it too. If you look in there, you'll see there'll be you'll see gold plating. Most of the time, not so much the round ones, but the um, uh, like the the ones with like the little slots. So, but yep, if you cut them off. Yeah, throw this over here on the pile. And then these here are just uh. I'll do these later. These I don't care about right now. Get these off the bench. Get them off the bench. But like the batteries I'm taking in, I'm taking these boards in tomorrow. Uh, memory, stuff like that. So, those I want to uh, focus on. These I don't even care because I'm not. Well, I am taking these in actually. Um. Right, Miss Bossy. Just pain in my butt. Nobody tells me what to do. I'm old enough to be your granddaddy. You're not the boss of me. Missy. I don't know how your husband puts up with your ass. I've never talked with that guy. Funny <sighs> scrapper. Another thing, um, ceramic CPUs. If you get those, save them up. Um, and I got a guy that'll buy them from you. Um, what you would need, though, is like a PayPal account, which is free to do. I don't know if there's an age limit on it. 
but um, he buys all kinds of ceramic. Oh, I was going to show you through that uh, HD, uh, that HDMI TV, the flat, uh, floor model ones, like the projection ones. Get the ones that are HDMI. They have a DLP chip. I put all my ceramic chips in this jar and I can never get them out. But this is an HDMI chip out of one of those TVs. So it's all gold. And then on the back, it's all gold. It'll have a little window. Um, I got about eight of these, six or eight of them. Um, that I, I had a bunch of, one of my older videos... I show my neighbor's yard with these, I think it was like four or five there. And then I got one yesterday. So, yeah, probably about six of them. But, yeah, these are full of gold, but they're ceramic. But HDMIs, this is, the boards are good too, but this is the, you know, the, the heartbeat of it right here. That's the best part. But, you know, any kind of ceramic, you know, Intel Penny. Ceramics are getting harder to find. Um just like, you know, um, I still get quite a few um, through the scrapyard, which is kind of surprising, but I get a lot of older computers for some reason. So I'm always looking out for the ceramics. But once you get figured everything out, you do like tantalums and... Even like these crystal oscillators. Um, can't really find anybody right now that refines them. But I'm sure there'll be a day. Hopefully within the next 10 years. If I'm still around. That silver prices go super high. Because right now I think they're only like $17 an ounce. Where it goes like $1,200 an ounce. So, this day where silver goes up, because that's what's in these crystals, is silver. Um, there might be a market for them. I get about 30 or 40 pounds of those. I think like 35 pounds last time I weighed it. And all your boards, you know, usually have at least one. So, it's another thing if you want to pop off. I take them off. I don't take the MLCCs anymore. Sorry. Just did pick up from neighbor. Hey, don't apologize for doing a pickup. That's good. That is good. Uh, I lost my tool again. That's always... I clean this bench and it's messy in 10 minutes. If that. Did you hear what I said about the DLP or the CPU? Mighty Scrapper? I'm not sure if you were in here or not. But I will show you again. If you didn't hear me. Yeah, I just people that do this. I just like to see them make the you know the most they can out of what they got. Oh, all right, give me one second. I'll show you. You can't leave the classroom. Unless it was a good pickup, then you're confused. If you went to the neighbors to get a toaster, I'll just suspend you. <laughs> oh, CPU. <clears throat> the projection TVs that you were talking about. When you get them, see if they're HDMI. See if they have an HDMI plug. They do. Yeah, I just struggled to get this out of here, and you weren't even here. And I just struggled again. Right, came out easy. But if you do get an HDMI one, this is a DLP CPU. So, see all the gold on there? It's a lot of gold, even on this side. So, that's what you want. Um, but, like I said, if you get like ceramic CPUs, like, uh, Like your AMDs, 
Well, and you know what ceramic looks like. You know, your your peniums. I even have a Cyrex. You don't get too many Cyrex ones. Or your K6s. They'll have K6s will have this aluminum plate on the back. Um, if you get enough of them and you save them up, I have a guy that will buy them. Um, I've actually, <clears throat> actually got a guy that buys my laptops. Um, he sent me a message on Saturday, Thursday or Friday, maybe. Um, he sent me a picture of a Pentium Pro CPU. And he says, you know, how much are these worth? Well, board sort pays $65 a pound for them. So I told him, you know, I'm honest with everybody. I said, you know, my buyer pays $65 a pound. I said, I'm not going to give you $65 a pound of break even. He has four pounds of them. So, um, you know, so that's, you know, quite a few. Um, now, my refiner, I talked to him after I got done talking to this guy. My refiner pays $70 a pound. So if I can get them for $40 to $50 a pound, then I can sell them right to my refiner and make a $20 a pound profit. So I can make an $80 profit, and it would go from my hand to my, you know, from the seller's hand to my hand to the refiner's hand. I'd have to do no work. So, you know, it's just things like that. You have to figure out, you know, what's the best way to go about doing it. But and then you know he's like, well, I got you know other CPUs and stuff. But that's fine. But if they're ceramics, then you know that's one thing. But if they're the green fibers and the no pins, the no pin um, CPU, this one here, these are four dollars a pound at board sort. So I just did a huge batch of these. Uh, I did the gold and stuff on them. I actually melted the gold on a live stream. I got I think um, four grams of gold out of it. But um, the chip I have for sort pays 85 a pound for. Uh, I'm not sure which one you have. They because they, they're they're like all over the board. Your 486 is about your best. The 8086 at the top, which is like 120 a pound, those look like an IC chip, and they're extremely hard to find. But you can hit a 486. It's a 386, 486. Um, once in a while, you know, once in a while I'll get a few of them. But I have a lot of guys that bring me stuff, too. Um, I have one guy that's always bringing me uh, motherboards and CPUs and memory and uh, PCI cards and stuff like that. So, you know, I have a couple of outlets to, you know, that bring me stuff. So that helps me out a lot. But they're hard. The ceramics, like I said, the ceramics are really hard to find. Really hard to find. All right, this was an ink cartridge, so I got to get rid of that. Get that out of here. That's in my what was another one. I thought I had another one. Motorola? Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. The problem is it's eighty-five dollars a pound, but if you put it on a scale, they go by like if you have one, um, you know, it goes by ounce. So, I'm not sure what they're paying um, for the ice, for the ceramics. I don't even know anymore. But say I took like this, and like this Intel one here, put my scale on gram. I think I only have one of these. So like this one here, or no, I'm sorry, it's got to be an ounce. It goes by ounce. So there's 16 ounces in a pound. So this is 0 0.99 ounces. So it's just under an ounce. So you would have to have 16 of these to get a pound. You know, when you when you do it like that, it's like, oh, I need a lot. But your Motorola's, if you get a brand new one, you can even go like on eBay and uh, put it in the listing, you know, for if you wanted to sell it. And, or just type in, you know, whatever the CPU is and go to buy now up on top. There'll be a, an option or a buy now. Go to the buy now option. <clears throat> and then go on the left side, go down a little bit, and you'll see uh, units sold. Click on that and see what they're selling for. 
and that gives you a gives you an idea. See, like this K6, I have two of these, so that's one one and a half ounces for two of these. So, yeah. So you have to remember when you sell these, if you don't have a pound, then it, oh wait, here I had another one. So here, so there's one, and I only had three. So there's three of those three K6s. So three of the K6s are 2.3 ounces, 2.34 ounces. So, you know, just remember that they're gonna they're gonna weigh it in ounces. If it's a pound, then you know it'll be. If it's like 17 ounces, it'll be one pound, one ounce. You know, that's how they do it. They have a little little scale there for you know if you only have a few of them. But board sort's really honest. You know, I've never had a. I never had an issue with them at all. But get yourself a little scale like that, too. They come in. I bought that one. I bought my floor scale on eBay for 30 bucks, which I love. And then I bought another smaller tabletop one that actually will count pieces for me. You know, if I have a bunch of pieces, I want to count. Uh, are you selling it on eBay? Selling on eBay is a pain, but FYI, I actually still put a CPU, I think it was an i7, on eBay for $50. Um, so I bought it, like, within an hour. Turned around and said that he couldn't buy it, or after I already shipped it out to that um for me to cancel it um but i think what it was i think it was a kid <clears throat> so i said well i'll tell you what i said when you return my property i will refund your money i never got it returned so he bought it so you have to be really you have to really watch because some of the people that buy stuff are real idiots that's why i don't really like selling on uh, ebay Plus, you know, eBay takes a cut, so you know you, <coughs> you have to <coughs> excuse me. You have to price it um, a little higher because you know to compensate for that cut. You know, it depends on I guess what what price you sell it at as to how much they take. But you always make the you know this guy have our bathroom and you can get a real cheap. Uh, a, a decent scale at a cheap price. Like I said, you go on eBay or Amazon. Um, I bought all of mine on uh, on eBay. but you can get a you know here's a, you can spend a couple bucks on one, you know 10 15 dollars just to measure your small stuff like that. You don't need a big like you know I deal in a lot of bulk so I went and got a, the floor scale you know because it comes in real handy. And it's um, it's light enough that I can carry it around, um, and it has you know battery, so I can take it outside. If, you know, I want to go out there and weigh something, or somebody brings me something that's kind of heavy to bring down to the shop to weigh. I can just uh, take the scale up there uh, on the battery power, and you know get it weighed up and get them out of my hair. I like to get them in and get them out. Get them in, get them out. So. Thankfully, it's been kind of slow, so I've been getting stuff done. It's been slow. All right. Uh, let's see. That needs to go big enough, and I don't care. Let's see if we get this one off. Michelle Verico, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. And I pronounced your name, your last name right. It's not Verico, it's Verico. Hope everything's okay with you. So I haven't haven't seen you. I really haven't been on YouTube too much. Um, just had a lot of things going on. Uh, 
business wise, health wise. So, but it's good to see you. I'm uh, just doing up some work, uh, trying to get a uh, electronics haul out of my shop in down to Ohio tomorrow. Make some room for the next batch. I so, just do a live and see what happens. And it was hopping earlier, but I appreciate everybody that comes in. Kind of hard to work and watch the chat. But I managed to get it done. So everything okay with you, Michelle? Or haven't even been on mute either for a while. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's about the way I am. It's just you know, YouTube is fun, but it it can take a lot out of you too. Takes up a lot of time, that's for sure. A lot, of time, a lot of time. But yeah, I've just been uh, I've just been so busy that I don't have the time to sit and um, uh, you know, streams and stuff like I used to. I try to hit you know a few here and there when I see them. But um, I said I've just been busy and had a little health issue, and so I'm getting back in the swing of it. Ooh, it's got popped in the eye. Getting back in the swing of it. So. Oh, you on vacation or you can catch up on your YouTube then? So. Mighty Scrap, are you still in here? I know how you catch everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's YouTube has been kind of interesting lately. We're all supposed to get along, and everybody's acting like uh, high school kids. Mighty Scrapper, that I don't know if I showed you that chip right in the middle, that real big one. See the little gold corner right there? Those are gold corner BGAs. Um, I sell those for fifty dollars a pound. There used to be a time when um. And I don't even know now, but one pound of these yield about a hundred dollars in gold because there's like gold bonding wires inside of them. So I usually just um, I used to sell them to my refiner, um, depending on how many I get, and um, I would just uh, sell them to him, and he'd be fine for me. He would charge me like twenty percent. So for every hundred dollars I made, he took twenty. I got eighty. Which is fine because it's his time, his labor, his material, you know, assets and all that stuff. Or I could just pop them off and just put them in a thing and sell them to him for 50 bucks. Put some money in my PayPal and all said and done, you know. Easy. So a few different ways I can do those. But you can, um, but if I take this off, you know, all you do is you take a flat putty knife. And put it underneath the, there's like a little piece of fiber sticking there. You see how it's stuck under there? And then put your hand on the chip. And just, light, if you lightly tap it until it gets under there. This is going to make a liar out of me. So but what, a lot of times I'll hold my thumb on the chip and stand it up. And it'll pop off like that. So I can get a little bit more from my refiner if I peel this back and take my putty knife and go between the chip and the uh, the fiber underneath it. If you put it on the end of a table, you can get under it. And for some reason, if you do it on the, the side, so see how that broke? That's fine. 
because it just gets incinerated. But if you ever do these and they break like that, pick up every piece that breaks because it all contains gold. Whether you're going to have somebody refine it or sell it to them or whatever. But if I take it off of this backing, I can actually get 55 to $60 a pound because that's one less step the refiner has to do. And then I can take these backings and see the gold on them. I can throw them in the asset and just let them sit until all the gold pops off of them. So little pixie, little pixie, little, 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 little pixie. Little pixie, I see you. I am holding up very well. You know, my service is kind of weird because when it's rainy and crappy outside, I have good internet. And when it's sunny and beautiful outside, it buffers. And so I've been here for two hours and 27 minutes and I haven't had a glitch yet. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Ugh. So, Mighty Scrapper, this will give you an idea of how many of these BGA chips I've done. These are all bottoms <laughs> from those chips. So these all have gold on them. Well, except for that's like a piece of a ram stick. So, so yeah, this is all those BGA chips. This is all the bottoms that I had to process. But I'll fill this box up. See, some are real nice and pretty, like that one. So, yeah, there's, a, I'd say, probably five or 600 in here. But I've gotten rid of, you know, some of them that were on there um, a couple months ago. But, yeah, like I say, you can, you can go either way with them. You can keep them whole. Or you can, um, see, this is the same chip without the bottom on it. i to fix this camera. There you go. Over there, there we go. So, this is like this here. You see all the little pieces in there that are broke on the sides? Just throw it all in there. This is probably probably about three pounds in here. So, if I wanted to sell these, this would probably be uh, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50, about 190 dollars right there. Just that little bit. That's like 60 dollars a pound. But this is like those two bags of uh, those two bags of memory I had. If I was to uh, so these two bags right here, I'm still debating whether to take them out to Ohio. Um, fifteen, fifteen twenty-five a pound, <clears throat> or do I want to keep piling it up until the price goes up? Um, I've seen this as high as sixteen fifty a pound, but at fifteen twenty five a pound, uh, so you got here. You got um fourteen point three pounds, two hundred eighteen dollars and eight cents in those two bags. That's how quick this stuff can add up if you know how to separate it and where to sell it. Do it the right way, you make money. I always tell people that. See these chips here? These are RAM ICs. These are the IC chips that are on those those memories. These have a higher gold content than like the regular IC chips. So like uh, say say that square chip. This here has a higher gold content. These are hit and miss, you know, because it's like that one there. That one there is, you know, a hit and miss. It might have gold, it might not. So that's why when you mix them up and they incinerate them all and crush them up, the ones that have gold, you know, the gold will be there. If not, it'll just be trash. But let's say there's, there's RAM ICs and there's uh, RAM BGA chips. BGA chips are just little square. Um, 
These are Ram BGAs. These are the ones I showed you that have the little gold on the back. But these have a lot of gold for a little chip. They got a lot of gold in them. And I just sent a bunch of these out, so I got to refill my bin. That's why I'm de deciding whether to take the Ram and just take the chips off and do the gold or sell it the way it is. or Don't know yet. I'll figure it out by tomorrow morning, that's for sure. That's for sure. I will figure it out. Uh, let's see. I still have not got my sandwich that you... I did. I don't know what happened to it. Probably the driver ate it. Man, you people. I don't know what I'm going to do with you folks. I gave you a ham sandwich. I put in a bag of chips and a juice. Because, you know, you got to wash it down. So I hooked you up, so I don't know. I guess I'll have to call uh, FedEx and see what's up. I think the FedEx driver smelled the ham. Left you hanging. That's just wrong. Have you lost weight? Why is everybody asking me if I lost weight? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't think I've lost weight. Take that off of there some tape sticks. I gotta find some more electrical tape because I'm not out. So yeah, just cover that up. Go like that. Get back up there. There you go. Half the time the tape won't stick, but I have no idea, Mighty Scrapper, why everybody's asking me if I lost weight. I can stand on the scale and tell you. But must be a joke there somewhere. I was in um Nike Girl's stream earlier this morning. And I told her I was taking a poop, which I was. And I told her that I lost like 15 pounds this morning already. <laughs> so, but I don't know why they're asking if I'm losing weight. I'd like to. I need to. I need to lose about 40 pounds. But I have this thing on my phone that calculates that battery's broke. Get a crack in it. Um, it calculates your steps. You set a goal on what you want to walk every day. And um, it'll tell you how many steps you did, how, how many miles you walked. Um, and how many calories you burned. So, today, so far, I've walked 8,884 steps which is 4.01 miles, and I burned 502 calories. My goal for it per day is 8,135 steps, so I exceeded that, and I'm still going. So this is linked up with my daughter and her boyfriend. We have a little contest, and it goes you know weekly. So her boyfriend's only at 8,305 steps. Uh, my daughter's at 11,719. And <laughs> she left a message on my thing. Well, damn, that sucks because I took first place. And I'm at, four, for the week, I'm at 14,859 steps. So take that. My daughter's a trip. Uh, let's see. Got my other board buyer sending me messages here. Three missed calls. I'll call these people later. It'll be some stupid telemarketer or some crap. I have that too. Mine is called Pokemon Mango. You know what? I used to play the hell out of that game. And, you know, your, your Pokeballs were always at, like, churches and stuff. I have a church right on the corner. So I go over there and snatch them up. But yeah, I was hooked on that for a while. I had to, I had to quit that. Palladian scientist, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. What did I find? 
I got a um, big electronics haul that I did uh, yesterday and today. So it was just a bunch of boxes and totes and computers and stuff. So I was going through all the totes. But I'm doing a electronics um, trip tomorrow. I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff down in Ohio. So I have all that stuff outside waiting for my vehicle to get here. And um, so until that comes, I'm just um, – stuff I found in the boxes, I'm just um, going through it and adding to the stuff that I have to take in tomorrow. You know, every little bit, it adds up quick. So these are just laptop batteries. Um, they have to be lie ion. Uh, you have to put tape over the terminal. Um, they do that due to fire, which I guess there's um, there was a scrapyard that did have a fire that did start in a battery box. So if you don't tape it, they'll still buy it, but they knock the price. Um, I get a dollar fifty a pound for these, so it would knock it down to. I think they said a dollar a pound or 90 cents a pound if you didn't tape them. So for a couple minutes, it takes to tape them, you know, these add up super quick because they're super heavy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to um, once I load my truck up, I'm going to uh, I'll have this done. Um, I'm just going to do probably this little bit here and. Uh, Damn, throwing shit. Man, I love the gold on that. I'd love to take that gold off of there, but I'll get more sound it this way than taking the gold out. Um, then I'm just going to probably eat dinner, grab a shower, and just chill out the rest of the night. I'm not going to leave. It's a three and a half hour drive uh, to where I have to go, and I'll only be there about an hour, which sucks. And then a three and a half hour drive back. So it's seven hours round trip drive time for an hour's worth of work. And then um, Thursday, I will probably just tinker around, you know, doing real light stuff. And um, Friday, I have a uh, uh, got to go to the city I live in, um, deal with some rental stuff I have to deal with there. Uh, one of my one of my houses, which is no big deal. It's just registering for a uh, rental license again because mine's about to expire. Got to have a license. So, and after that, Friday, I'll just putz around. Um, my buddy wanted me to go up north to northern Michigan with him Friday, uh, put his boat docks in, getting ready for the summer. Brand new battery. But uh, he'd be back Saturday. I don't really feel like going up there and doing that because that's another three-hour drive there and a three-hour drive back. And I hate traveling. I really, really hate traveling. I have no idea what this battery is. So I would probably sit by uh, my eye on. God, you can't even read it. It's like in real light green. Do you have someone going? Yeah, um, I'm not... Um, my buddy's going, I'm going to let him drive my truck. <clears throat> um, I really hate driving. I really do. But yeah, me and him are going to go. And, um, he usually goes when I go anyway. You want to go? You know what, Ralph? Um, I did a video yesterday. Yeah. I had a bunch of aluminum cans. But in the state of Michigan that I live in, uh, beer cans, soda cans, beer bottles, soda bottles, um, the Monster Energy drinks, the Ripit Energy drinks, Red Bull, stuff like that, they all have a 10-cent deposit on them here. So I don't drink. But I got a neighbor who loves his beer. I got no problem with that. Um, young guy. He's a part owner in a, a heating and cooling company. And trying to get all my uh, aluminum radiators and copper and stuff from. 
Well, he buys the beer. He drinks the beer, but he ain't taking a bottle. You know, he ain't taking them back for deposits. So he puts them in trash bags, and he hangs them on his fence for me to go over there and pick them up. So I go and get them. Yesterday, I took in $148.50 in empty beer cans that he had given me. <laughs> so, take that. Pladian, thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. You have a great day. Yeah, if you, if you see the Japanese writing on them, they, um, they'll either have that symbol... See that symbol on the corner? That was like the recycling symbol. Let's see if this will focus. 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 Come to the light. But right under that, that circle on the end, it'll say light ion. But sometimes it'll be um, like over on this side somewhere. Like this is all Chinese writing. So you have to really look. If it's, if it's light ion, you can sell it. If it's lithium ion, they're junk. Lithium, lithium ions go to the scrapyard. Um, if you go to Board Sword's website and look at their payout list, it'll tell you. Go under uh, cell phones. Or no, I'm sorry. Go under uh, miscellaneous. And it'll have a uh, light ion laptop and light ion cell phone batteries on the price. But I mean, just these batteries alone, you know, these are these are pretty heavy. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's dump this in there. Let me tear this out. Okay, so let's tear that. So, I've got a milk crate full of these things that I can barely pick up. It's how heavy they get. I should have counted these, but I didn't. So whatever that is, I'm going to put these on the scale. I'll drop them on my toes. 18.25, 18 and a quarter pounds. Just this little pile right here is $28 for just that. Just this. It adds up, people. Now I messed my bucket all up. One. That was 28 plus the milk crate I got over there, so I probably have $60 in uh, just these batteries. You know what? And even in your uh, your cordless tools, like this is a Ryobi battery, but it's a light ion battery. See around the top there? That's light ion. No, it'll focus in on that. 
That's where my thumb is. But these are all cell phone batteries. So other than that little box there, and then I have this little box, which is a cell phone. Okay, this is all um, laptop batteries. So I'm not three pounds up, but this the milk rate's three pounds. So that's 20, let's say 25.6. So let's say 27 pounds. Oops. Hold on one minute. Uh, 150 times 27. So there's 40 plus 28. $68 in just laptop batteries. And I got all those pretty much yesterday. Plus there's batteries in these yet. I have to take all them out. So, uh, which I need to get my butt done. But these I don't care because these are stains. They're not going. <clears throat> they're not going to uh, Ohio. They're uh, my laptop buyer buys those. As long as the screens ain't broke. Uh, let's see. Yeah, little pixie. I'm not doing nothing. I'll unload the truck when I get there. And that's about it. They say, what state are you in, Ralph? That's cool. You got a route, Mighty Scrapper. That's one way to do it. Our landfills are filled here, and we will not take any TVs or PCs. Ship them. Go get them. Ship them. The two big sheets of non magnetic stainless. Uh, I think stainless here is like 22 cents a pound right now. Everything is just so low. It's just, you hate to take anything to scrap your head, but you know, you only have so much. Only so much room that you can't. I mean, I like to store everything I get, but you can't do that. Which is why I'm making the trip tomorrow, is because I'm out of room. So, you gotta bite the bullet. I wonder. Uh, see, this is, I lost my little fadoo. There it is. Yeah, I, I don't like to see any of that stuff going to landfill. Even like the um, uh, the plastic and stuff. We don't have any kind of recycling thing for um, what it, it's called ABS plastic. And what it is, it's um, it has a fire retardant on it, and it's just nobody recycles it, and it sucks. Like, all my flat screen TVs are all ABS plastic. So, the only thing I can do is, you know, it goes to a landfill. I don't take it to a landfill, but, you know, I take it to a transfer station. Um, and, you know, from there it goes to the landfill, but it sucks. It, I have a recycling business, and I can't even, uh, can't even do nothing with plastic. And I don't have a little bit. It's ridiculous. Space is always a premium. You got that right, Ian. Jeez. Like I said, I just um, I made a, a video earlier of a little bit of space I made taking all this stuff out that I'm delivering tomorrow. And I even got rid of some cardboard barrels that I really wanted to use. But the more I thought about it, they were just taking up space and I don't need them. I don't need them. Why can't I find a bit to fit this thing? I'm going cross-eyed looking at these little bits. I depopulated all boards and sell all to scrapyard. 11 cents a pound. After you take everything off of them, that's pretty good because my yard only takes them to shred. So, yeah, if you can, uh, you can get 11 cents a pound, you're doing really well. 
Ooh, look at that. I found a bit. How little that screw is. Looks big on camera, but it's teeny. But glad I got to go through all those uh, buckets with you guys. Got to see what was in them. But as I said, he just, I was putting stuff in them and he was throwing stuff in them. I even got a couple nice uh, rolling office chairs. I needed one. I'm going to go buy one. And I got, well, actually, I got two. Let me give one to my daughter, though. Then he had some, uh, like, office chairs, like conference table. So they were pretty nice. So my one neighbor was going to take a couple, and I gave them away. I give a lot of stuff away. All right. Oh, that's a screwdriver. Five Phillips. Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Ah, I think you're right in front of me. You can't see it. Too many streams on tonight. I get all chairs from side. Yeah, these these ones here I took from the um because he don't want them. And like I say, he was moving out of his office. He had a microwave there, so I took that. He had one of them old CRT TVs that I told him I didn't want, but because it was him, he's a good customer. You know, he calls me all the time for stuff. So, um, you know, I took it. Usually I don't take them. I mean, if I get one or two, that's fine. But, you know, like I said, last summer I had probably 500 of those damn things. And uh, it was ridiculous. Especially when I had to uh, pay to haul them away. You know, it kind of bites into your profits a little bit. Even though I got them for free. But, you know, you have the labor and all that stuff. Joy Stewart, how are you? Good to see you. Mike just came down to PA and get me away. I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. Couldn't wait to get the hell out. Are you on the west side of the state? I ain't traveling too far into Pennsylvania to come and get you. You might have to meet me at the border. Storm rolling in. Sound like the thunder rolls over there. They got me quoting Garth Brooks. Good gosh. <laughs> Ian, you have a good night. I appreciate you coming in, buddy. Um, we will talk to you again soon. Don't work too hard. Come on, get off of there. Yeah, it's six o'clock. Ian lives uh Australia. He's across the pond. Over that way. A place I'd love to go one day. I just don't want to deal with the plane ride. Too long. Too long a plane ride for me. Uh, now see, this is a different size bit. Man. You can't hear me. Why can't you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can everybody else hear me? Yeah, you ain't spinning you. Yeah, I like to uh, I like to do this, and you know, there's guys like you, Mighty Scrapper, that like to come in. Uh, Christie's another one. I wish he was in here while I was doing this, because he's been trying to learn a lot of stuff too. Look, a little pixie. I thought I was talking to the talking to myself. Everybody else could hear me but you. So 
You said he got a storm coming in, so maybe that was the problem. Or maybe you just muted me because you're tired of listening to me. Was that the problem? You can tell me. My feelings won't get hurt. Yeah, I'll probably cry a little bit. I don't know. That's why you didn't get your sandwich. <laughs> I have this late shift, so I'll be saying for some time. Yeah, Ralph, I'm, I appreciate that. Um, Like I said, I'm just waiting for my uh, vehicle to get back. And uh, I'm going to go and load up that stuff for Ohio. And it looks like I'm going to have most of this done. And I'll probably go eat dinner and then come back down here for an hour or so. Um, it'll take me about 45 minutes to go through these uh, laptops. Um, they ain't nothing. To, I pull the battery, the memory, the hard drive. That's it. And the rest of it goes on the uh, Wi-Fi card out of them. And then I sell them as uh, incomplete, non-working laptops. But these, I won't sell to Ohio. I want to sell them to Ohio if they have like a broken board. Or, yeah, broken board. Broken screen. I'm looking at that board. Um, they have a broken screen on them. Like, uh, you know, then I sell them to Ohio because my laptop buyer don't want them. You know, the screen's broke. So, you know, all they have to do is just go like this. You need to press on it a little bit. You'll see. So like this one here, this is a MacBook Pro. Um, obey. And because this is like a solid unit, I won't even take the screws out of this to take it apart. So this would go right to my seller or my buyer. How is your watch time, Ralph? Man, I need years of watch time. You know, I'm not, I know a lot of guys um, try to do the watch time and stuff, but that don't matter to me. I'm just, you know, I do this because I like to do it. Um, I don't care about the, the watch time or the monetization or, you know, this is fun for me. But, you know, I mean, in a couple of years, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> so I don't even check that stuff. I don't even know how many subs I have anymore. Um, I was at like 1,015, I think, last time I looked. So I have no idea. Like I said, it's not... To me, it's not a big deal. I just enjoy doing this and, you know, meeting people. And, you know, if I can teach people something, then, you know, I'm happy with that. That's that's a good thing for me. I don't need all the, the hoopla and stress over, uh, you know, that stuff. But I appreciate you asking, but I have no idea. I'm sure I need a, a boat load, though. Um, there are people like uh, Mountain Bushcrafters Alliance. He was pretty close. Uh, Cole Aldor, when he was trying to get his, um, you know, I ran his playlist and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, if there's somebody close, I have no problem helping them at all. I don't care, you know. I mean, I have five computers. So, you know, I can run. One time I ran, like, four people's playlists all, all night. So, but yeah, so this one here goes. Right to my uh, hard drive. I already have a hard drive somewhere. My laptop buyer. Um, he's out of town right now. He had a, a family issue or something that came up. So, and then if I get a uh, laptop hard drives that are uh, like this one, 500 gig, he buys these. He buys um, 320s and 120s too. So, as long as they have the newer style plug. Not the pin, you know, they're pins, but they're, like, flat. They're not, like, the, the great, you know, the old-style pins, which I probably won't have one here because these all look new style. But, yeah, so he buys these off me, too. But he brings me a lot of stuff. Um, like, his last trip here to get some laptops, he brought me a box full of uh, motherboards and stuff, so... And then I bought, um, over the winter, I bought like 40 pounds of memory off of them. And he came in here with a, two big boxes full of memory. So I bought all that. That was a granddaughter. Looks like she ain't. No. Um, we're doing uh, Eskimo kisses now. And we rub noses. 
<laughs> she calls me a peepaw. Yeah, she's always called me peepaw. So, yep, Eskimo kisses. Facebook does a, uh, you know, like when you post stuff from like back in the day. Well, today I was on my Facebook and there was a picture of me from eight years ago. No beard, short hair. I looked like I was 20 years old. So my comment was, what the hell happened? <laughs> that was just funny. But, no, Eskimo kisses for pee. Better than nothing. <coughs> She lives right around the corner, too. That's the funny part. All right, now. Yeah, I wish they'd keep all these bits, you know, one size. So you can just zip them through and not have to change a million times. Dinner's in 10. Dinner's in 10. You hear that, people? So that means... I have 10 minutes. And I really can't believe I've been streaming for three hours. It doesn't seem like three hours went by that quick. But that's another reason I like doing this because I can get stuff done and the time just you know don't direct like if I don't if I don't stream, I have this big TV right there that you know. It's got Roku and all that crap on it. So I turn that on and, you know, I watch YouTube's, YouTube stuff. Or It's got Netflix and it's got a bunch of different stuff on it. So I turn that on and, you know, it keeps me uh, occupied. So, or, you know, I'll go on there and I'll put, the, like, music on or something. Just some music. You want to take apart three hard drives? Three hard drives? Three hard drives? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed, son. Huh? Let me show you something. I don't know if I can do this. Like I said, without killing myself. You see all them milk crates? Right there? There is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 19 milk crates there. They're all filled with hard drives. Get your butt over here. That is all I got to say. You want to take a hard drive apart. Plus what's on the table and in the towers and stuff I have. So. <laughs> Plus I have a uh, storage unit with uh, yeah, about 1,500 um, towers in it. They all got hard drives. So, yep, I think you need to uh, get your butt over here. And then you can say you took 2,000 hard drives apart. They're fun to take apart, though. I like taking them apart. What I did when I started doing this, um, if I got, like, computers or... Laptops or cell phones. Um, I put all that stuff on the side. There's a damn bit for this. And then I, um, when I got a good pile of it, I started. What I did is I researched, like on YouTube. Um, I learned how to do the gold from a moose scrapper. Um, e waste Ben taught me, you know, a lot of the uh, computer scrapping. Uh, who else? I don't remember who else. But those were the two biggest ones when I started. Um, it was actually Moose Scrapper that you know got me really going on this stuff. But you know, when you do the gold, though, it's it's always safety for. Well, even when you're doing this stuff, you know, you should really be wearing gloves and stuff like that because these do have a chemical on them. So I rub my hand up. So you know, see how nasty my hand is. But you know, they do have chemicals on them. So you kind of have to be careful. And, uh, with all the breathing issues I got, I uh, have to really be careful. But it's always, I just did that bit, didn't I? It's always safety first when you're doing this stuff. Like I said, it's fun to do. 
Southern Pennsylvania. I was born and raised in Southern Pennsylvania. No, I was born and raised in Northeastern. Northeastern, but then I lived down in like Philadelphia, Allentown. But I was born in the uh, Scranton area. Wilkesbury, Scranton area. And when I was 18, I pretty much told her that's three times I grabbed that same bit. Uh, I pretty much told everybody to kiss my butt, and I said, I'm out of here, and I ain't coming back. I moved out here when I was 18. I went back there once uh, to visit an uncle, and never went back. And I'm going to be 55 this year, so do the math. Do the math. I gotta go in this crappy thing here. God, I gotta clean this thing. This thing is just ridiculous. <laughs> That's a square. Oh, you know what? Where's that little? I wonder if this would work. Nope. What about this one? I got the bits. Just gotta find them. You way behind. Catch up on chat. Am I? Oh my god. Hey, way behind. I answered Ralph's question about watch time. Um, you asked about your granddaughter. I got it covered. How am I way behind? You know what? You and Mickey, man, I swear. We're both the same. I ain't way behind. I already got like four more minutes and I gotta go eat dinner. So, take that. Take that. Then I might stream after I come back down here. Who knows? <laughs> I'll take this. I'll take the shoulder and just wipe my nose on your shoulders. I don't need the tissues. I'm used to abuse. I know one thing. If I don't find this bit in a minute, it's not going to be good. Uh oh, I have a potential. That's a potential bit right there. <laughs> See if this works. Probably strip out. Everybody's bossing me around. Yeah, I'm going to go get ready to do my mighty scrapper. Be careful. Good luck. Hope you get a lot of good stuff. Um, let's say I might. Um, come back down and throw the stream on and just do these laptops, do a short stream. And uh, then I'll probably call the night and get ready to go to bed. But appreciate you hanging out, buddy. Now I'm stuck with Little Pixie. Jeez. My lucky day. When's my dinner ready? <laughs> Mickey told me to keep streaming, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep streaming much longer. Good God. I was afraid to cut myself doing that. Cut my belly, I'll float around like a balloon. Oh, no, won't be able to catch me. Oh, that's raining outside. So, I'm going to wrap this up, go have some dinner. And then my truck should be here so I can get loaded up. I don't know where the heck he's at. But he had a couple pickups to do, so. So I think I'm going to jump off of here. And I'll probably come back on in an hour or so. You've been warned. I cut my finger off doing this, now I won't be back. 
Woo! See that? Almost a tragedy. That'll work for a little bit of gold. Alright right, guys, I'm going to go eat dinner. So, I'll probably be back in an hour or two. I'm going to do the uh, laptops and then call it a night. So, until then, appreciate y'all that stopped in. Have a good night and hopefully I'll see you in a little while.